Hi guys, it's Melanie Newman here. Welcome to my channel. In today's grooming session, we are going to learn how to trim feet. So we have Dash the Bichon here and Jay the Bichon. On Dash the Bichon, we are going to trim his feet a little bit longer. And on Jay the Bichon, we are going to trim his little feet a little bit shorter. So we'll do longer feet and shorter feet. The equipment we are going to use in today's grooming session is we have our Artero Flexi Slicker and we have our Artero 23cm fine tooth comb and we also have a pair of 7 inch scissors and these are straights so as you can see the blade is nice and straight and we also have a pair of seven inch curves. So I will show you feet with curves and with straights. And I'm also going to use our Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. Jay and Dash have been already bathed and dried, but what I'm doing now is making sure I'm removing all those knots and tangles around their, around their feet. So using my slicker brush, going up and down, and then cross-checking with my comb. And just like our other videos, if you do hit a knot, use your coat conditioning spray and then go through again with your slicker. I have already clipped out Jay's pads as well as Dash's pads. If you would like to learn how to clip out your dog's pads, switch over to our clipping out your dog's pads video and that will teach you everything you need to know. Once we've popped our dog on our non-slip mat, then pick up our fine tooth comb and just gently brush through his legs. If you find your dog is moving around and always trying to pick up the foot that you're trying to work on, a good tip is to pick up the opposite foot and then brush the foot that you would like to brush. Once we've brushed through our dog's entire leg and there's no more knots, I like to brush their hair downwards or comb their hair downwards on their foot. And then what I like to do is spray with my coat conditioning spray. And what this does is it actually holds the hair in place for when we're going to then scissor our dog's foot. When I scissor feet, I tend to only use the first third of the scissor, so just the tip of the scissor. So this way you've got so much more control over what you're actually scissoring and more control over the actual scissor. So all our hair is now all brushed down and in place and I'm holding up his other paw so he doesn't lift this leg. So what I'm going to do is come in and remember just using the tips and I'm just going to come in on more of a 45 degree angle and just scissor a round circle and as I'm scissoring I'm going to be constantly combing out that hair and always on that 45 degree angle Because I have pre-clipped his pads, I'm actually not going to pick up the foot to check it until last. I would just like to get the shape how I would like it now. And just using my straights on that 45 degree angle and manoeuvring myself to create a round teddy foot. the inside of the front leg when I scissor the back of the front foot I like to just pick the foot up 
and just scissor straight across and brush down to cross check and just scissor straight across then combing everything back down and coming in on our 45 and if you would like a shorter foot you would just come in a little bit higher but I think this this length really suits him and once I have scissored to the length that I would like I then pick the foot up and just scissor off any little edges that we've missed but not changing the shape of the foot now we are going to trim our other foot using our curve scissors the technique we are using with the curves is a little bit different to the straight so instead of coming in this way I'm actually going to come in underneath the foot and work my way up as I'm going around the foot using the curb on the scissor for the shape it's creating. We are still using that 45 degree angle from the base of the pad and coming up over the foot but using the curve shape to create the roundness. So coming in on the inside of the front leg, so still starting at the pad and working our way up and over the foot. And then picking up the foot and coming straight across the back of that pad. Once we have finished trimming our pad, I just pick the foot up and just cross check to see if we haven't missed anything and any little tufts of hair we can take off. And once we have finished our front feet, we will then do our back feet and we are going to do the same process. And to trim the inside of the back leg is easy enough to pick up the opposite leg that you were trimming and brush down what you need to and start trimming. And last of all, cross check, make sure we've got all those tufts of hair. And just with the tips of our scissors, just scissoring off any bits that we've missed. Now it's Dash's turn. He is a hairy little boy at the moment. I like him to have really, really full legs. So we're only going to trim a small amount off so it won't be as tight as Jay's. I have combed through all Dash's legs and feet so he has no tangles in those hairy little columns. So when we trim Jay's feet, I trimmed up to the nail. So I don't particularly like to show the nail. I feel like we get that really sweet little teddy foot when we don't show the nail. So with his feet, I trimmed up to the nail. With Dash's feet, we're not going to trim near the nail. So it's going to take a lot more precision cutting. Once I have combed all the hair down and into place where I would like the hair to sit, Here's another one that moves his little feet. So I'm going to pick up the opposite leg when I trim. And now I'm just going to get my straights and I'm just going to just take off the tips around his foot. And 
the inside of the front leg and just taking off the tips. And I'm kind of taking off the hair that sits on the ground. So he still has that nice full column leg that I love. And then just brushing down the back of the front pad and not cutting off as much as we did with Jay. We just want to still only cut off the tips and just come straight across. So basically anything that is hanging over the pad. And if there is any tufts of hair that is hanging over when we pick the foot up, can just cut those off and then just comb out your foot making sure we've got everything and brushing down our other foot and this will be the foot where we're going to use our curves So spray everything into place and remember just working upwards from the pad and working upwards. Anything that is between dashes, pad and the mat we are actually going to scissor off inside of the front leg Good boy so anything that is between his pad and the mat we are going to trim off We're just going to brush everything downwards and just with the tips of our scissors just cut off the edges. Now just cross check with our slicker any bits of tufts and then just go along with the tips of our scissors and cut off any bits that we've missed. If you would like to trim your pads holding your dog's leg upwards, I like to bring everything down with my slicker. And then just coming around the base and scissoring everything flat from our pad outwards. And then once our foot is on the ground, we can then brush down the front of our foot and come in with our scissors and just taking off the tips. It's important when we are trimming our feet to constantly brush that hair to make sure we've got every little bit of hair and it's nice and neat and tidy jay and dash's feet are all trimmed and they're looking gorgeous as always good boy buddy if you guys have any questions pop them in the comments below or oh, you're tired <laughs> pop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you and send us some photos of your dog's perfect paws and until next time happy home grooming